So I want to talk a little bit about one of my favorite RPGs, uh, Cyberpunk 2020. This is like the cyberpunk role-playing game. Now, cyberpunk, of course, now has become uh, almost a, a retro future. This is uh, set in the far future of the 1980s in, in 2020. Things clearly turned out a little differently. Anyway, this game is really great. And I want to talk about a few of the movies that I like that might you might not have heard about. Uh, there's some weird, maybe a little obscure movies that are, I think, good inspiration for Cyberpunk 2020. Uh, one is a real low-budget one called Cyber Wars. Now, this isn't going to win any awards. It's not some kind of great cinematic genius work. But it's a, it's a fun little adventure, and it feels like the kind of thing that you might get involved with in a, in a game of 2020. Uh, the only major actor in this, I think, is Joan Chen, if that gives you an idea. So, anyway, check it out. Uh, okay, this one's weird. Now, I'm going to admit, Cyborg with Jean-Claude Van Damme is a favorite of mine, and I accept it's a terrible movie, but I kind of love it. I don't necessarily love this one as much, but Cyborg 2 with a really young Angelina Jolie and an amazing performance from Jack Palance, who is just really Jack Palancing it up. Uh, this is also actually a pretty good little adventure story, you know, low budget, crappy, whatever, but it's, it's fun. Worth checking out. Uh, a really weird one, this is not one of my favorite David Cronenberg movies, and he has done a couple of good cyberpunk films, but, uh, it's worth checking out. It's called Existence. It's, um, kind of the Matrix-ish in that it deals with, uh, altered realities and video games and plugging yourself in and all that sort of thing, but it has a very different take on it. Uh, it came out the same year, so it's not like it's some kind of rip-off. It's just a similar themed film. Uh, Worth Checking Out has some really disgusting David Cronenberg stuff. It's one of the last of his body horror films, I think. Uh, but anyway, Worth Checking Out. And then just as a sort of bonus, this is a little more known as uh, directed by Catherine Bigelow, but it's Strange Days. Uh, this is a, a pretty rough movie, but it's good. It's a solid thing. It's a little bit frustrating that more than 20 years later, we're still dealing with the same social issues this deals with, well, pr police brutality and racism and all of that. Uh, it's, you know, like that is a little frustrating, but it is a good film. It's got a pretty good performance from Ray Fiennes, not necessarily one of his best, but pretty good, and it has a great performance from Angela Bassett. So it's definitely worth checking out. It's got some pretty cool action and then good plot twists and stuff. And, uh, well, that's it for those movies, but, uh, you know, as usual, uh, check out the links below. You'll see I'm an independent author. You can check out some of my stories there. Uh, check out um, other stuff that I'll link to.